All right, right now I'm gonna show you how to read chord charts. Now we're gonna use these charts to learn chords and the chords we're gonna use to be able to play songs with. Now this chord chart is a diagram of the guitar neck itself, as if the guitar neck was standing up and down from floor to ceiling. Now, the line going up and down furthest to the right, that is gonna be your first string. To the left of that, the second string, third, fourth, fifth, and all the way to the left, that's gonna be the sixth string or fattest string. Now, the dark line that's across the top of that chord chart, that's the nut of the guitar. All right, and then the other lines going from left to right down are the fret bars. Now, the dots that are on the strings themselves, those are where you're gonna be placing your fingers. This first dot here is on the fourth string and it's in the second fret. Now if you look directly below that dot, there's a number. That tells you what finger you're gonna to use to play that with on your left hand. Now your left hand fingers are numbered one, two, three, and your pinky is the fourth finger. Now, this second dot is on the fifth string. It's also in the second fret, and if you follow that one down to the bottom, you're gonna be using your second finger to fret that note with. Now, all the other strings have zeros beneath them. That means that when you're strumming this chord down, you're gonna be hitting those strings open with no fingers on them. If there was an X beneath the string, that means that you don't hit that string at all. It's muted or not struck. So make sure you know how to read this chord chart because we'll be using this through this program and all the following programs that come.